Carnitine broke onto the supplement scene back in the 80s as a popular fat burner. Then it fizzled out when sexier, stimulant-based fat burners became all the rage. Today, carnitine is back and stronger than ever. Only now we know this well-researched supplement not only aids in fat burning, but also has the potential to enhance exercise performance and recovery. Are you wondering if a non-stimulant supplement can really work to help you burn fat? Have you heard the recent negative headlines about carnitine? Or seen it listed as an ingredient in energy drinks and wondered if it's safe? Don't believe everything you read. Let's cut the sensationalism and talk about the science behind carnitine. What is it? While it's often categorized as an amino acid, carnitine isn't technically an amino. It's considered a vitamin-like and amino acid-like compound that is related to the B vitamins. Carnitine is formed in the liver and kidneys from the amino acids lysine and methionine. However, it's stored elsewhere in the body, primarily in the muscle, which includes the heart, the brain, and even in sperm. In the diet, it mainly comes from meat and other animal products. You can get some plant products like avocado and soybeans, but as a rule, meat is the best source and the redder, the better. Carnitine exists in two forms, D-carnitine and L-carnitine. The L form is the one found in nature and is biologically active. On labels, you'll see it listed as L-carnitine, L-carnitine L-tartrate, or propionyl L-carnitine. They're all similar and similarly effective. The D form, on the other hand, is biologically inactive and isn't sold as a supplement. Acetyl L carnitine, also known as acetyl carnitine or Alcar, is another popular supplemental form of carnitine. It can be found throughout the central nervous system where it plays a role in producing energy as well as producing the important neurotransmitter acetylcholine. The acetyl group attached to the carnitine molecule enhances its ability to pass across the blood-brain barrier and enter the brain, where it acts as a powerful antioxidant. For this reason, some research suggests that acetyl L-carnitine may provide protective actions against aging processes. What does it do? The most critical role that carnitine plays in the body is in helping to transport fat, particularly long-chain fatty acids, into the mitochondria of cells. Once there, they can be oxidized, used as fuel, to generate adenosine triphosphate, or ATP. Carnitine does the cellular work, both when you're exercising and resting, but research confirms that it's especially effective during intense exercise. Without adequate carnitine, most dietary fats cannot get into the mitochondria and be burned for fuel. But carnitine deficiencies implications don't stop at being unable to burn body fat. It can lead to muscle weakness, stunted growth, and a number of other problems. This is one reason why carnitine is considered conditionally essential. Your body produces it, but if it doesn't produce enough, your health can be seriously impacted. A recent study out of Scotland concluded that in addition to its fat transporting work, Carnitine also enhances insulin's actions on muscle cells. What this means is that carnitine can help keep blood glucose levels low, even following a carb-rich meal, while also aiding in glycogen repletion. This is one reason why I advocate taking carnitine with a post-workout meal. What are the performance and physique applications? Carnitine's a well-established, bona fide fat-burning supplement. During bulking periods, it can help limit fat gains and support a cleaner bulk. If you're cutting, it can help transfer the fat you have into the cellular furnaces to get burned as energy. Some of the most interesting recent research into carnitine supplementation focuses on how it may enhance athletic performance. In a recent study, University of Nottingham Medical School researchers had one group of athletes consume two grams of carnitine along with 80 grams of high glycemic carb, first in the morning and four hours later for 24 weeks. Another group only took the carbs. The researchers found that during low intensity cycling, the subjects taking carnitine burned 55% less muscle glycogen while increasing fat burning by 55%. 
during high intensity cycling, the subjects taking carnitine had lower levels of lactic acid and higher levels of creatine phosphate, one of the primary building blocks of ATP. When they measured the subject's ability to resist fatigue during a cycling test, they found that those taking carnitine were able to go more than 25% longer. This was likely because they burned more fat while preserving muscle glycogen, in addition to having lower levels of lactic acid and the higher levels of creatine phosphate. The UK researchers also found that despite adding 640 calories of fast digesting carbs to their daily diet, the subjects taking carnitine gained no additional body fat. The group taking the carbs without the carnitine, however, gained over five pounds of body fat. Carnitine's performance benefits not only stem from its ability to support fat burning and promote healthy glycogen use, but also because it may support blood flow to the muscles. Increased blood flow means more nutrients, hormones, and oxygen where they're needed most during exercise. How does this work? For one, carnitine reduces oxidative damage in nitric oxide, but it also enhances the activity of a key enzyme involved in your body's NO production. The net result is higher NO blood levels, which not only enhances energy during workouts, but also can aid muscle recovery following workouts. What could be better than more NO? How about more testosterone? University of Connecticut researchers found that carnitine increases the amount of testosterone receptors, known as androgen receptors, inside the muscle cells. The more of these receptors you have in your muscle cells, the more testosterone can bind to them and stimulate muscle growth, as well as strength gains. As one final benefit, research suggests that carnitine supplementation facilitates the action of insulin like growth factor one a critical instigator of muscle growth by boosting levels of one of its binding proteins. Are there any side effects? There are very few negative side effects from carnitine supplementation. It can cause nausea, abdominal cramps, vomiting, and diarrhea, but only when taken in high doses. Rare side effects can include muscle weakness in uremic patients and seizures in those with seizure disorders. One recent study postulated that carnitine supplementation may increase the risk of atherosclerosis. However, the study design has been met with plenty of criticism from the science community, myself included. Medical experts have also pointed to the numerous studies that actually show a reduction in the risk of cardiovascular disease with carnitine supplementation. Carnitine may even help support sexual health in males. How should I stack it? Simply put, the most important thing you take with carnitine is carbs. Some early studies showed no benefit of carnitine because they failed to adequately raise muscle carnitine levels. This was because the supplement wasn't taken at the right time when insulin would be spiked and muscle uptake would be adequate. New research suggests that insulin levels must be quite high for adequate amounts of carnitine to enter muscle cells, where it performs the majority of its work. On the flip side, taking carnitine supports insulin's actions at the muscle cells, helping to deliver more glucose in the muscle cells, as well as more carnitine itself. While as little as one gram of carnitine can be effective, your best bet is to take two to three grams per dose for maximum benefit, along with at least 30 to 40 grams of carbs and 20 to 40 grams of protein, preferably with a meal. This applies if you're taking either straight up L-carnitine L-carnitine L-tartrate, or propionyl L-carnitine. Acetyl L-carnitine, however, is more easily taken up by the intestines as well as the muscle cells, not to mention the brain, in the absence of food. Therefore, this form of carnitine may be stacked with other ingredients that enhance fat burning, such as caffeine and green tea, and taken between meals. Should I cycle it? At this time, it appears that there's no need to cycle carnitine. Taking it regularly, it should continue to be effective long-term. When should I take it? One of the best times to take carnitine is post-workout, but you can take it with any other high-carb, high-protein meal throughout the day. If you want to stack carnitine with other fat-burning ingredients between meals, consider using the acetyl-L-carnitine form. One strategy I've found to work well for both fat loss and performance benefits is to take two to three doses 
of acetyl L-carnitine with other fat burning ingredients without food between meals. And take one dose of L-carnitine or L-carnitine L-tartrate with a post-workout meal. What's the bottom line? The bottom line is that when taken correctly, carnitine can boost both your training and your physique. In the gym, it can mean more endurance and bigger pumps. In the mirror, more muscle and less body fat. And despite what you may have read, it's safe. Don't fear carnitine. Learn about it and how to use it, and it can be a great tool to have in your arsenal. With Bodybuilding.com, I'm Jim Stepani.